Alright, so this video, like it's been a while since I did this type of a video of a feedback wise, but in this video I am going to be discussing, you know, like stuff I kind of really want to see come into uh, Infinite. Especially expressing my concerns, you know, for customizations. As, you know, I don't have really against people who want to have, you know, core armor customizations, you know. I understand the feeling, you know, I don't mind that at all. But my issue is going to be like, you know, it's mostly going to be towards, you know, the weapons and vehicles, you know, scenario. But, you know, and also wishing that we can do, like, you know, custom, you know, doing our own customized, you know, coatings, you know, I don't mind if we get, like, a chance to do, like, you know, three to four, you know, coatings for each, so, like, you know, two, like, three for this armor, three for that armor, three for that other armor, you know, whatever, weapons, etc., you know, but, but for the weapons, though, my, my gripe is only three guns really has, you know, weapon models, which is, you know, just, should I say, just weapon pieces, you know, and I kind of like don't like the fact it's like we don't have like an actual thing and you know and only these three guns have which is the BR uh, the sidekick and don't judge by my sidekick I like the sidekick and including my BR I like how my BR looks with the attachment because it looks like the OG type BR from Halo 2 and 3 with the you know the end there um, but I also hate the fact of weapon kits you know I, I like the fact of like you know the weapon kits, I was thinking, like, you know, maybe I could change the model. But, you know, but all these other weapons after the BR doesn't really have, like, any cool customization options. Like, no extra pieces. And not, and not only that, even the Hydra. The Hydra, you don't even have no other skins for the Hydra. Nor weapon models, you know. Or, or even weapon pieces, you know. And it's just kind of a ridiculous state. You know, like, I like the sniper rifle for the coating, you know. And there's other good coatings for the sniper rifle. Even though I like the, you know, the North America launch one. Heck, I would have actually spent money for that uh, skin for the uh, rocket launch, to be honest. Uh, the one that looked like the camoy. But the vehicles as well. I, I like how, like, the vehicles are, but, you know... I, I wish we got more customization options for every vehicle, including the models, you know. And what even is more of a disappointment is the both the chain gun and the rocket hog. You see all the cosmetic items that the, the, the chain gun hog has? Why is that customization options not on the rocket hog as well? Like, it's the same chassis... The only thing that's different is just that the turret's different. And honestly, this should have been able to cross both the coatings and the vehicle models between each other. You know, because it's the same chassis if you see if you go to compare it between the two. You know, and it's just ridiculous. You know, and I would like to have a different visual appearance on my rocket hog instead of leaving it the default type look. And, you know, it, and, you know, like I said, I wish we can do, like, you know, skins as well for the working, you know, coatings for the weapons and the, uh, things, you know, but, but I'm hoping in Season 2, though, that, you know, or even just before Season 2, we have more content, because I like to have more content towards the vehicles and the weapons, especially the ones that we don't really use and I, and I hope that we can get banished weapons and vehicles actually in the customizations as well because I will be pulling up a nice good video you know of showing the brief customizations for you know all the games that had it but like I'm showing in this example like you know maybe we want a you know we should do coatings as it is you know I like to maybe do about two to three coatings for each thing, you know, so like, so I can rock with it because I'm more personally uh, cool with this and show us what changes there. Like, give us a program, you know, that can actually show us what we could change and what can we not, you know, if like, like, especially with like, you know, that's my favorite skin. I actually like using at times in my Mark 7 armor. And, you know, and, and it'll be showing my Halo Reach soon because my Halo Reach, I actually prefer. You know, just uh, mm, I prefer to dig my reach style. 
you know, except, you know, the secondary piece, which is the blue. I kind of don't like it, but, I'm, you know, it's growing on me. I kind of want it as steel, though, because in Reach, I digged it with the... With almost every game, I digged it with the uh, sage and steel. You know, even though I don't mind the extra little colors to it. You know, but, you know, everything else, you know, with coatings, I really wish we could do about two to three coatings for each thing. And have it as like a maybe a month type program if not two months because I hate it where you know you find out really late and it's only like for like a few days and you find out really freaking late you know and boom you just don't get a chance to you know do it like especially like in MCC we had that uh, scenario where like hey send over your favorite send over your maps that you have in file share and game types you want to file share so it goes over to the legacy scenario because we're after when they did that I couldn't get the maps I want to be brought over into MCC. But yeah, you'll see the weapons here where I'm showing off, like, you know, the coatings, like, you know, and what doesn't have the customization options. And it'd be nice if we can get more customization. I don't mind even cosmetic changes are even good too. But it's just, you know, I feel like, you know, it's lacking, you know, and we don't got any cool items. Also, I really want to know how to get the HCS Winter skin for my pistol. Because it actually looks nice, not gonna lie, it looks better than the HCS uh, launch. Uh, or whatever, you know, skin. But, you know, this is just my personal opinion. Now, really quick, before this video ends, I will also be talking and stating uh, of customization items that's also, you know, that, you know, every other thing had. Because I really wish there's more customization options. Especially when it's the same damn vehicle. You know, just different chassis. You know, like it's the same chassis, you know, but different turrets. You know, it should have the same coatings and the same, you know, pieces. You know, I gotta understand if it was a difference there, like the gun goose among them. But anyway, I'll show you the difference with MCC's version of customization. Alright, right, so here's MCC. This is, and keep in mind, both uh, Halo Infinite and Halo MCC was being recorded off my PC. Uh, but here's the customization that was in every single game in MCC, and I will be including Halo 5s, and I will be showing off Elites as well. I didn't really show off the Elites in, uh, you know, Halo Reach because it was all preset, but look at all this. Look at how organized this is, you know, to find the helmets and then the attachment for it. And then, you know, and look at every single thing that I basically go through. Ranging from armor pieces, weapon skins, hell, even vehicle skins. But here's the downside. Uh, Reach and 4 does not have vehicle skins. And as well, Reach does not have weapon skins. Which, you know, it's kind of a disappointment when they did Season 8 for MCC. Because I was really hoping that Halo Reach and Halo 4... We'll at least have a season to actually focus on customizations for, you know, skins for vehicles and, and uh, you know, weapons, you know. Well, except that's mostly towards reach weapons, as you know. And, and of course, hopefully with Halo 2 as well, you know, because uh, as in both Anniversary and Classic, because all four of those games do not have vehicle skins and the three games don't have weapon skins as well uh, but yeah um so i will be back in like uh, quite a bit because i go through everything i show every customization that was there you know and we didn't get no options to you know make these these were made by 343 themselves now and like how you see with the vehicles you're gonna notice with you know with the Warthogs being, you know, the same exact chassis of how that model looks. The only thing is just different is just the turret, you know. And, and you know, and you see, like, how it's all nearly similar. It's just that, you know, boom, boom. And this is what I mean, too. I wish that banished vehicles were also, and weapons, within the customization I, options, like how MCC is when they started doing Seasons. You know, they started bringing in vehicles and weapons that was from the coveted side to come back to be part of customization items. 
And, oh, it'd be nice if we got the needle rifle. You know, basically a lot of good guns back, you know, that we was playing with back in the day. So, you know, regardless of Bungie and 4343 made them, you know, that was really good. You know, but you see what I mean, like, you know, all these customization items that should have been available for us to use. Alright, so I'll be back in a bit, and I will be including, you know, Halo 5's customization as well. You can all compare it, too, and if you want to make a video showing all the stuff, of my, even with my voiceover or whatever, go ahead, it doesn't bother me. Or if this throws you an idea, which probably just threw me an idea, but, you know, oh well. Uh, Alright, I'll be back in a bit, so might as well enjoy some music that I throw in, maybe.
Alright, now we came to the part of Halo 5. As you all probably noticed, that uh, in Halo 5, customization is very limited as well. To where it didn't have as much like Infinite, and then all the games before Halo 5, which was, you know, 343's first Halo game, being Halo 4, and, you know, every other game to where it's not preset. And of course, when it, uh, MCC first came out, the whole armor customization before season started happening to where, you know, it, MCC was broken for five years, was then, you know, fixed by the Halo Insider program, which I was a part of, and uh, which I'm grateful to be part of that. Um, uh, it was all presets to where in the, you know, Halo 2, 3, and four, you know, you didn't have like the customization choices of choosing, you know, that, like how it was back in OG days where you could s swap all the pieces. You know, uh, in Halo 5, that's even more worse to where you could still change the helmet, but you can't do like, you can't change like what you want on the body. So, like, all that body is like, that's what you're gonna get. And then not only that, like, and I didn't show off the color, I forgot to show off the coloring, you know, but it basically would change wherever was there, you know. So like some section would be like you know uh, in on top of that helmet like there, and then some bits like on a different part. You know, I think it's like wherever the lighting is, that's where it would change if I recalled. But you'll see like there is barely any customization. Nor can you view them really up close. You know, especially like the whole armor set. And and you'll see that in Halo uh, Five, you really have no vehicle skins. And like the only way, it, and, and not only that, it, even the weapons. Now the weapons you have skins, all right. It, but you just only see like you know, however it is in that visual look, you know, and which just sucks to be honest. And not only that, let's just say um, with vehicles and weapons, uh, a lot of people were complaining about that there should be more variants. Honestly, there should be no more than two to three variants then. Because I know one game has done this to where it actually really felt really balanced. And that was Halo SPV3. The single player version mod. To where it had like two to three weapon variants. Uh, mostly kept in, keeping it to about two weapon variants per the campaigns. And, you know, because in Halo 5, there's like uh, so many. And, it's, and at times it's just game breaking and I don't like it. To where, like, oh, some of these weapons can melee you in one fucking hit. Um, with, like, you know, like, these normal guns here. Um, you know, and, and it's just, and, like, someone's like, oh, if they have a suppressor on they don't show up on the motion tracker. But, you know, it, it, I don't want to have so many weapons. Like, let's go back to the, how it was originally in the formula. To where it was just one gun each. No, like, 20,000 versions of the same gun. Because that's what ruined the formula in Halo 5, you know. But, yeah, but... Eh, but, like I said, you know, there's barely customizations in Halo 5, you know. And, you know, I, I just prefer, you know, old school in style. And, you know, and I like how MCC did, you know. And, of course, what Infinite's doing, you know. As you know, I really like Halo Infinite and what they're doing, you know, being a free to play game, and it's actually a really ground changer. And I'm hoping, you know, campaign, you know, when campaign does come out, um, I'm hoping co op is cross playable between PC and Xbox because I hated how MCC was like that. But you know, sorry for this long video being like around 30 minutes. Um, but this is my whole feedback, and I really want Infinite to be successful. All right, well, if you all have, like, you know, your ideas, whatever, feedback, whatever, about this whole issue, just feel free to comment. All right, well, see you all next time. Not yet.